Hello, and welcome back. I'm Jeremy. Um, today I'm going to be talking about some troubleshooting of the WAMP server. I've had a couple people email me saying they were, they had their WAMP icon stuck on the orange icon, which means the server's still offline, hasn't fully connected yet. Um, one of the errors that I actually received that somebody was nice enough to uh, email me it was, could not execute item internal error, could not perform action services. So, basically what's going on here is you have another program that's using um, port 80 in the background somewhere. Now, there's a few programs that use port 80, or listen to me, do uh, port 80. And one of those is uh, Skype. Skype's notorious for this, and there's a few other ones out there. I can't remember all the remember which ones they are at the moment, but I, I, I'll give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Well, here you can see I have Skype running. Okay, so now I'm going to launch WAMP, and I'm going to show you the little uh, icon issue. So WAMP starts up. As you can see, we're stuck on the orange icon, which means nothing is going to display. So let's get rid of this. And I have nothing. I just have a blank page. There's no true connection going on there yet. So well, let's say I didn't know that Skype was using port 80 or some other program. What we can use is um, a command line to help us find this. So what we'll do is we'll type in net stat tech a tech zero or excuse me tech o. We're going to pipe that through um, find string string or str, short for string, uh, 0, 0, colon, 80. And as this runs, it will scan through all the programs I have running and find which program is uh, using, uh, I'm assuming not program, but it, should, it will show me what process ID is using port 80. Now we can uh, load our task manager, and we'll put it in the you know, highest number first, and we'll look for 5132. Well, as you can see, 5132 is not showing up in my services. So what do we do from here? Well, we can use a program called uh, Process Explorer. And let me some wrong with that one. Let's go ahead and re-download this real quick. We'll look for Process Explorer. We'll download it. We'll download. We'll go ahead and open it up. We'll run it. Okay, here we'll show all the processes that are running on your computer. So, what we need to do is look for that 5130. I believe it was 51, yeah 5132 and we see that Skype as that process that's using our port 80 right here so we have an option right here what we can do here is right click and kill this process say so yes we want to kill it you can see it's gone now I'll left click restart all services and now we got the green light so if I try to type in localhost, I'm presented to the WAMP server home page. Well, let's say I still want Skype to run. Let's go ahead and turn, kill that. Let's turn some of this stuff off real quick. Okay, shrink that down. Okay, let's say we still want to use Skype. Well, how would we do that? Well, in Skype, let's go ahead and watch that again. We can Go to Tools here, go to Options, and under Options, we'll go to Advanced, then to Connections, then we'll uncheck where it says Use Port 80 and uh, Port 443. We'll save this, and we get a we get a little information box pop up, basically saying that this won't take effect until we restart Skype. Let's go ahead and let's quit Skype. And give it a couple seconds. 
and we'll relaunch Skype. Oops. Quit. Thank you. Up. Type in our password. So now we got Skype back up and running. And just to verify that WAMP services still work, we'll left click, restart all services. And we're back to the green light. Also, double verify here. We'll refresh this page, and it works just fine. Now, if these steps don't work at, for, for what for some reason, we could actually uh, edit the uh, Apache comp file, and that's located in um, the WAMP directory. Let's see, so we will navigate there. We go to C, the WAMP, the bin folder, Apache, and then Apache 2.2.1. Then we want to go to comp, which has all of our configuration files in here. Then we want to look for the httpd.comp file. Right click, uh, edit, open it with your editor of choice. Then we want to look for line 46, which is or the line number for me. And it says listen to port 80, which is the default port to listen for any web page. But we can change this to any port we want. But typically what people will do, it will change it to port 8080. We'll, uh, we'll save this file. Okay. Shrink this down. Close this out. And I'll restart the services again. And we got the green light. Everything's good. We'll refresh the page. And oh, something happened. Well, what happened here, since by default, this... Uh, so as I said, web pages look for port 80. It doesn't know how to use port 8080. So what we have to do here is we'll, at the end of localhost, we'll type in the colon 8080. Press enter. Bam, we got a WAMP server back up. Now to even look into, uh, find a folder that I've that I got some stuff in, I'll put a slash and we'll say PHP. Inside here we have our uh, files that I made. And we'll just click on the first PHP. Everything works fine. I hope this answers some questions that people have a hard time getting um, WAMP server started or it's stuck somehow. Um, there's a I'll put a couple links in to download the uh, Process Explorer itself. That you know uh, it works great for a lot of different things. I'll even put in the uh, command that I use the uh, netstat. Um, any questions, comments, still issues with it, go ahead and hit me an email, uh, write a comment. Don't forget uh, to um, subscribe. Thanks. Thank you guys. Have a good day.